Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News with some financial news. The FDIC closes a Silicon Valley bank after the bank fails to raise new capital. Stand by for details. Troubled lender Silicon Valley Bank has been closed by the FDC after deposit outflows and a failed capital raise sent the firm into crisis this week. In a statement released late Friday morning, the FDIC said Silicon Valley Bank Santa Clara, California was closed today by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation, which appointed the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, otherwise known as FDIC, as the receiver to protect insured depositors, the FDIC created the Deposit Insurance National Bank of Santa Clara. So it's now a new bank, evidently. At the time of closing, the FDIC as receiver immediately transferred to the DINB, which is the bank we just mentioned, all insured deposits of Silicon Valley Bank. The FDIC statement continued, all insured depositors will have full access to their insured deposits no later than Monday morning, March 13th, 2023. The FDIC will pay uninsured depositors an advanced dividend within the next week. Uninsured depositors will receive a receivership certificate for the remaining amount of their uninsured funds as the FDIC sells the assets of Silicon Valley Bank, future dividend payments may be made to uninsured depositors. Now this was tweeted by Whale Chart a while ago asking, are we witnessing a banking crisis? Uh, let's have a look at some of the, um, it seems like basically the banks are all in a free fall today as far as uh, stock market performance you can see all the reds there this is a wide variety of banks including mtb cma keycore wells fargo certainly some banks that you are familiar with we will see where this goes and as far as funds being available in this new bank for old customers of silicon valley bank boy that that certainly doesn't if, if I was one of those account holders, I would not feel comfortable. Is there a contagion about to spread through the entire U.S. banking system? Is this all part, maybe the beginning of the financial collapse that we have been expecting here in the U.S. for quite some time as we move toward the one world economy, one world government and one world religion to be run by the man of sin, the son of perdition, the Antichrist. Certainly a situation to keep an eye on. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.